In this video, I'll show you how to use Viana, a video analysis app on the iPad. I'm a Dutch teacher teaching in English using a German app. Uh, so uh, the interface is German, but I think it's self-explanatory and I'll hope that this video clears things up how to use this app. First uh, is the, the home screen if you open up the app. Top left, you'll see the video stored on your iPad. On the right, at the top, there are two example projects and down below are your own projects. Just click on one of the videos you'd like to analyze and then you can open up uh, the video and give it the project a name. So I'll use the name demo for now. Then you'll get this screen and I'll explain you a little bit how it works. At the bottom there are uh, certain menus you can use. There is a, a details window where right at now and there are uh, several steps in the process of analyzing this video. I'll go through those steps one at a time. And you also see that this video was uh, filmed with 30 frames a second and it, it takes 6.11 seconds. And altogether there are 183 frames. You can just play the video. So this is the full video. And you can see that not all parts are interesting. So you can crop off the start by moving the slider up to the point where the ball is going to fall right here. And you can crop off the end of the video right there. Now you can click on uh, the next step. Uh, so you can manually track the window, by, uh, the, the tennis ball, by moving the circle uh, and moving the crosshair to the tennis ball. And on the top right corner you can see a magnification of the tennis ball. Now if you tap on the screen, this will select the position in this current frame. And then it will move on to the next frame. So here we're at frame 1, this is frame 2, you need to move the circle again. And the ball didn't yet move, now there it moved. So I'll move the circle with the crosshair. And we're gonna do this for the full 69 frames. Okay, so here you can see that the tennis ball is a little bit blurry because the shutter speed of the iPad is not that, uh, uh, is, is quite long. So uh, the tennis ball will appear as a streak. Uh, try to click in the middle. And if you've got more advanced video equipment, then uh, you can actually change the sh shutter speed. Also, the tennis ball didn't touch the ground here because it touched the ground in between frames. Let me make an error here as well. Uh, so I'll put a, a data point, uh, well, this is clearly wrong, so I'll put a, a wrong data point over there and I'll show you how to fix it later. So now we're done. The next step is to uh, set a scale. Um, so this is a, a ruler uh, and in the background you can see a measuring tape. And you can't clearly see it in the video, but this part of the measuring tape is 40 centimeters. So you just move the start and end of the ruler to match the 40 centimeters on the measuring tape and set it to 40 centimeters. The next step, we need a coordinate system. Uh, and the coordinate system is just a Y axis and an X axis. And you can move them around like that. And I'd like to uh, have the Y axis uh, match up with the vertical motion of the tennis ball. And I'd like the X axis to be uh, to match the tennis ball as it has touched the ground like that. So you can play around with it. And if you're satisfied, uh, you're done and you can change it later if you like. So the next step is the graphs. So these graphs are uh, created uh, immediately. This is a graph of y versus x, which is the path of the tennis ball. And you can click on the line to, to draw the graph. The next window will give you the x direction as a function of time and the y direction as a function of time, which is the vertical direction. The top graph is the uh, position time graph or the uh, displacement time graph and the bottom graph is the velocity time graph. Okay, and here uh, I'm go I'll go back to the video. You see that uh, I made a mistake here. Uh, there's one point that's clearly off uh, here at the right at about 2.2 seconds and we still need to correct that. So the way to do that is to go to the frame and 
move it around. So it's frame 67 and you just move the circle to the position where the ball really is and then tap the screen again and you can see the graph is updated. You can click on show line to make a really uh, nice graph and here you can export the data to whatever program you like uh, and analyze the data over there.